Hey, welcome back to another quick stretching session. Today I want to talk about plantar fascia slash restless leg slash lower body. This is something that we don't often talk about in the clinic, but it's something that we see on repeat, especially with postpartum women and or during pregnancy. So get on your mat and you can stretch with me. First, we're going to do a little bit of a back calf stretch into that Achilles. That muscle inserts in the back of the heel and under the foot. So if you're having plantar fascia pain or foot pain and or calf pain, this is a really easy thing you can do. Grab a wall. You're going to place your foot up against the wall. So I'm stretching my left leg in this case, and we're just going to lean in. My right leg is up on my toes and I'm just getting a good stretch in that calf on the left side. And depending on your flexibility, you can go as far as you feel necessary to feel that stretch. I'm a little bit more flexible, so I'm putting my weight into my back heel here to help deepen it a little bit. And we're just going to hang out here for a couple more seconds, getting into that calf. Beautiful. Okay, switching to the other foot now. So now my right foot is going up against the wall and then I am gonna support myself with my hands and I'm just leaning forward, putting my weight into that back left leg so that my right leg is getting that good pull in the back of that calf. Feels really good. You could even do this off of some stairs if you wanted. I don't have any steps nearby, but the wall works just as well. Really getting that good stretch in through there. Beautiful. A couple more seconds here. Fabulous. All right, next up, I'm gonna get a foam roller. And if you don't have a foam roller, you could use a baking roller, you could use anything cylindrical, a piece of Tupperware, get creative. But I'm gonna just put my left leg up on that roller and then I'm actually gonna lift my hands up and support myself and I'm just gonna roll that calf literally just using my body weight. I'm kind of just going back and forth, maybe move a little bit side to side, feel where I feel that tension right in that muscle. And if there's a spot that's a little bit extra sore, pregnant mamas, I'm looking at you with those swollen ankles and calves and feet and legs. You can just spend a little bit more time here. Being mindful of belly, if you have a belly, making sure that you're supported and you're stable. I'm just going to roll that out and I'm really just using my body weight here. I'm not putting a little bit of or much more extra pressure in that leg. Okay, switch sides. So same idea. I'm just using my body weight to really roll out that calf. Especially if you're having restless leg or cramping. Magnesium is going to be really nice for this too and or Epsom salt. You guys know I love Epsom salt. Two cups of salt and warm water in your bathtub if you're pregnant, not too hot. But this roller is really nice. And again, if you don't have a roller, I mean, you can get creative. You can use uh, anything cylindrical, really. Baking or uh, yeah, baking roller works works well too. And or these foam rollers are cheap on Amazon or Target. Good. Okay, so now I want to get into a little bit more of my plantar fascia in the foot. I'm using a lacrosse ball, but you can certainly use a tennis ball or a frozen golf ball actually is nice too. I'm literally going to put it on the floor and I'm going to just step on it right in that arch of my foot, so right in that instep. Your foot's a tripod and I'm just using my body weight and I'm just rolling around, finding points that are a little bit tender into the heel in that arch. As I was saying, your foot's a tripod and so in our lives and when you're pregnant and you have extra relaxin in you, you hurt ligaments in your feet, and there's many of them, get a little bit stretchy too, and so your arch can drop a little bit, contributing to that plantar pain and or postpartum because relaxin's with you upwards of a year. So this is a really easy way to get some relief in that heel and also just increase some mobility in that foot. So I'm just rolling around, using my body weight, holding in an extra spot that's a little tender in those trigger points. Good, okay, other side, same thing. Hold on to a wall so you're supported. You know, we don't want you toppling over. Again, if you're pregnant, center of gravity is a little off. And if you're not pregnant, probably have a toddler running around. Okay, getting right in that heel, into the arch of the foot. This side's a little worse for me. You can hang out here for as long as feels good. You know, if you're 
enjoying this, and this is easy. You can even do it seated, you know, putting on your favorite show. If you watch The Bachelor, you put that on, watch it while you're seated, but get some good stretches through there. Beautiful. Okay, last one I wanna go over, and this is kind of just that lower body, so whole leg. Hip pain right in through that side, the TFL muscle and or the IT band as well is a difficult one to stretch, so we can grab the wall. I'm gonna stretch my right side first, so that right leg is gonna wrap in behind. Supporting myself on the wall, I'm gonna hinge my hip towards that wall, and this will give me a really good right side for me body stretch in that muscle. You can also do this off a chair. I like a wall because it's accessible and I don't have to get on the floor. But just get some stretch in through that side there. Really nice for that hip pain, especially during pregnancy when you're sleeping on your sides all the time. Okay, other side, same idea. So now my left leg's gonna go behind and I'm gonna sink my hip towards that wall, getting some good stretch in that leg closest to the wall. I'm just gonna hang out here for a few more seconds. Again, hang out as long as feels good. Beautiful. Okay, thanks for sharing.